Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next question. It's a question from magnetic effect of current and let's read what the question is. Consider a loop of wire lying in the plane of the table. Let the current pass through the loop clockwise. Apply the right hand rule to find out the direction of magnetic field inside and outside the loop. It's an important question which is asked from magnetic effects of current. Instead of me explaining to you through a drawing, let us see a video which will help us to understand the question better and thus help us to answer it easily. So let's go over and watch the video. So here I have taken a copper wire, though it's not a copper wire, it's a thread. But since I couldn't get a copper wire this long, so I've tried to explain you with this thread and this battery. So here, imagine that this is the copper wire and it is lying on the table because in the question it's given that the loop of wire is lying in the plane of the table so it's lying over here and the current passes through the loop clockwise so you can see here this is the positive terminal of the battery and this is the negative terminal of the battery so this loop of wire is connected in such a way that the current is flowing in the clockwise direction that means through this positive terminal the current is flowing it's going over all around the loop and then coming and finishing here now in the question it says that if the current is flowing in the loop in the clockwise direction we have to apply the right hand thumb rule to find out the direction of magnetic field inside the loop so this is the part which is inside the loop and this is the part which is outside the loop so what will be the direction of magnetic field now we know from the right hand thumb rule that if we hold any piece of wire with our right hand such that our thumb points in the direction of the current flow then the direction in which our fingers are curling like this the direction in which our fingers curl will give the direction of magnetic field at that point so now here you can see the magnetic field are all around in circles around the wire similarly we have to apply this right hand thumb rule to this current carrying loop in which current is flowing in the clockwise direction now if i hold this wire I have to point my thumb in the direction in which the current is flowing. Now since the current is flowing in this way clockwise so the current is flowing like this so I have to point my thumb in that way and I have to hold the wire. Now you can see this is the inner part of the loop and this is the outer part. Now how am I holding? Now I have to hold it in this way. So the direction in which my fingers are curling they are like this that is I have my fingers curled in this way that means in this part these are the magnetic lines which are going into the table all right so here inside the loop the magnetic field lines are going into the table now if they go into the table how will they come out on the other side like this all right so on the other side they will be out of the table so on the other side they are out of the table that is outside the loop they are coming out of the table whereas on the inner side they are going into the table so this should be your answer that inside the loop the magnetic field lines are going into the table and outside the loop the magnetic field lines are coming out of the table now if you look at the other side of the loop now the current is coming in clockwise direction so the current will be moving in this way now if we hold our fingers similarly on this side of the loop we see that in this side also the magnetic field lines are going into the table inside the loop on the other side of the loop you can see these lines are coming out of the table all right so you can see here on the inner part of the loop the magnetic field lines are going into the table or into the plane of paper or into the plane of the surface whereas outside the loop the magnetic field lines are coming out of the table or out of the paper or out of the surface to conclude the answer we write that inside the loop the magnetic field lines are into the table or the surface and outside the loop the magnetic field lines are out of the table or the surface so i hope you are clear if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and if you are new to the channel request you to please subscribe to it thanks for watching bye bye